Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today in this tutorial I will continue the tutorial of Geographical Information Systems or GIS in RStudio. This time I will talk about how to create the GML file or the file that is recognized by the Google Earth from an S3 shape file. In this case is special data frame so you can plot it nicely on your Google Earth. we first start by loading the libraries needed. If you have not installed all the libraries used in this tutorial, please uh, install it first using the install packages commands. And if you have installed them all in your system, you can directly load it by the library commands. Next, we are going to read the shapefile and currently I save all of my shapefiles in my OneDrive directory and you can replace this uh, shapefile by using your own shapefile and just you have to make sure that you read it in the uh, right directory and if we check the shapefiles which I save as SHP variable. It contains a lot of uh, variables inside and one of them is Provinci. So Provinci means uh, province in English and uh, we are going to select only one of the polygons of Provinci. Uh, which is daerah khusus ibu kota Jakarta Raya mm, I don't know exactly how to say this in English correctly probably it's something like special region capital of Jakarta Raya and this Jakarta province which I save as JKT JKT uh, variables has six kabupaten Kabupaten means district or probably regency in English and then you have to make sure as always that this shape file has the VGS84 projections and if it is not you can transform it by using the SP transform functions that I have given in another tutorial okay Let's continue with the first method using the RGDAL package. We can use the write OGR functions and run it on our console or in our RStudio environment. And then we just have to make sure about the directory that on the name of the files. And if I check, I can open it. Using the Google Earth. It's already have the polygons overlaid in the Google Earth. So the shortcomings, shortcomings of this uh, method is that you cannot change the future of the names as it will not be recognized by the Google Earth. So you have to do it manually in Google Earth. As an example in here, I change one of the future or one of the polygons which is Jakarta Aduh, what's that? Jakarta Barat, okay and then I can change the style of the polygons like in here I used fill outline style and then I select the purple color now the polygon has changed the color into purple or manually you can also read and edit uh, this file using the XML uh, package in RStudio 
Now for the second uh, method, we will require the WordGrid file data. Uh, it's actually available in the WordGrid package and then you can save it by using the plot KML functions. There will be warning and there will be an errors, but you can just ignore them. I don't know why it's keep showing up, but uh, actually all of your file or variable you would like to save as KML file have already saved in your computer. Let's check opening it by Google Earth. Oh, this is a bit annoying. I'll just don't show it again. Okay. And then you can see that all of them has the label and also they all were plotted in a different color. And this color palettes is presented by the package name which is the word grids library and if you want to change or select another palette style you can browse to this URL I will give you in a description section okay here is the example okay I will copy it so it will be clear my fonts are so small. Okay, the URL is this dot kml dot project dot org dot setting php. But yeah, you can just uh, check my descriptions in this video for uh, get the link. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial, and I hope it is useful. See you in another video, and bye bye.